Good morning, year three. Welcome to Monday's lesson. To start us off, warm our brains up, I'd like you to have a go at these four questions using methods you've been practicing over the last couple of weeks. So pause the screen and come back for the answers. Okay, so 84 divided by four, so you could partition, you could use your place value grid, you can use another method you're happy with to get the answer of 21. Multiply 32 by three, so column multiplication here to get the answer of 96. And then 12 times eight, so you can either do it using your column multiplication or using your 12 and eight times tables to get again, 96. Put the numbers into ascending order. Okay, so we need to let's have a look. Okay, so we're getting bigger, like you're ascending up a mountain, you're getting bigger. Okay, so that's the order you should have them. 29, 87, 113, and 131. And then our extra challenge question, being able to tell the time on the clock. So this one is showing 12.20 because it hasn't quite got past to the one yet. So it's 20 minutes past 12. Okay, okay. so this week is all about money. I don't tend to have my cat sitting on my head though, but all about money this week. I have put some extra resources in the assignment and I'll put it in the maths folder as well. But if you would like a poster with all the British coins and notes on, just as a reminder, it's in there. There's also some printable ones, which you can use if you want to physically move them. Just be warned if you print them out, some of them would come out a whole coin on one A4 page, so you might need to change your settings a little bit. But they're there if you want to use them and have practical resources. So today is to be able to recognize and use pound and pence. So the symbol, adding the amounts, recognizing the coins, all that kind of thing, okay? Like I said, that poster and the coins are in the resources if you want them, or if you've got the real things handy, you can use those as well. Okay, let's make a start then. So I'm gonna to go to full screen, so I'm gonna disappear, and we'll work through. Okay, first of all, have a go, look at the coins, and work out how much money there is there. Okay, so each one of those, hopefully you can see, is a 20 pence piece. So write down what you think it is. Now have a go at this one. Ooh, all three, so they all disappeared, sorry. <laughs> so have a go at all four of these, write down the amounts, and we'll go through the answers in a second. Okay, so number two has got a 20, a 10, two, 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 and a one. Then number three is using notes. And then five, number four is a mix of notes and coins. So we've got a five pound note, two two pound note coins, and a one pound coin. So let's see if you got those right. So you had 80 pence, 37 pence, 20 pounds, and 10 pounds. Well done if you got those. Okay, so you've got five different representations here. Which one, or ones, there might be more than one, shows 14 pounds? So pause it, look at each one, look quite carefully. These are two pound coins over here, by the way, and these ones are one pound coins. Some of them aren't too easy to distinguish. Okay, so pause, have a go, and come back for the answers. Okay, let's have a look through then. So our first one here, we've got a 10 pence, one pence to another, and four pence there, so we've got 14 pence. Definitely not enough there, okay? So that one, not in this case. This one in the middle, I've got a 10 pound note and four one pound coins. So that one does make 14. This one over here, we're gonna count in twos because they are two pound coins. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So that one does give me 14 pounds. Here we have got 10 pounds and five pounds. Okay, so it's not, it's too much, it's one pound too much. And our last one, <clears throat> we have got one pound and four 10 pences, so one pound 40. So not enough this time. Well done if you spotted both of those. Well done if you just spotted one. Okay, let's move on to our next. We've got Jack, Amar and Mo here, and they've all got some different amounts of money. Who has the most and who has the least? 
pause it, look at the coins, and then come back for the answers. Okay, so let's go through. Got 20, 5, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 for Jack. Okay, 50 pence. Remembering to put the P sign under, after it so we know that it is pence, not pounds. And then MR. Oh, so it's oh, double checking them, so he's adding them up there. Okay, so this one here is worth 50 pence as well. Okay, and then we've got 70 pence, we're adding them together. 72 and 73. So you notice I started with the biggest amount there and added on. Okay, so 73 pence per mare. So the last one, three coins, who's got the least amount of coins? but is it the least amount of value? Okay, so we've got two, two pounds, four pounds, five pounds. Okay, can you see the five pound, the symbol for pounds at the beginning? Okay, so pence goes afterwards, pound sign goes before. Okay, so now we've got the amounts and we've checked them. Who has the most and who has the least? Okay, so Mo has the most, even though he has the fewest coins, they are the greatest value and Jack, who has the most coins, but the least value. His is only 50 pence. Okay, Whitney is making 50 pence using only silver coins. Can you name the silver coins that she could use? What of our coins are silver? Okay, so one pence and two pence are not silver, so we can't use those. Five pence is, 10 pence, 20 pence, and 50 pence all are one pound, it's a mix, so we're not counting that one. So you've got four possible count coins. Okay. Whitney says there's lots of different ways of making 50 pence using only silver coins. Do you agree with her? If you do, how could she do it? Okay, so you could just have a 50 pence. You could have five 10 pence coins. You could have a mix, you could have two 20 pences and a 10 pence, or you could use your five times tables here, okay, and have 10 five pence coins, all right? There may well be other, or there are other ways as well, but they're just four to show you. Okay, have a look at Whitney, she's back again. How much money does she have now? Okay, so we've broken up in, slightly different amounts. So these ones are hundreds, okay? Then we've got tens and ones over here. So have a look. So you've got pound, pound, 50, 10, five, and one. Okay, so two pounds, added those two together. Then let's add our pences together. Okay, well done, you've got those. And then we put them together. So you've got two pounds and 66 pence, two pounds, 66. Mm, how about Rosie? She's got a bit more. She's got her notes as well. So work out how are you going to add all of those together and how would you write it? Okay, let's look. So I'm going to reorganise them. I'm putting them in size order from the biggest value over here, the note, to our £2 coin. Then 10 pences and 2 pences. So add those together. So we've got £7 in total. And then how many pence have we got? 34 pence, well done if you got it. So Rosie has seven pounds and 34 pence. What about Alex? So separate them into the pounds and the pence and then add them together. Okay, she drops one of her coins. How much could she have left? It doesn't tell you which coin she drops, so there's going to be more than one option for this. Pause, have a go, and come back. Okay. If she is dropping one of her coins, she might have dropped the pound. Okay. So let's add up the others. So she could have 63 pence left if she dropped one of her coins. She might have dropped the two pence coin. So then we've got the pound. Add the 50 pence, I'm doing it in size order again. Add the 10 pence and add the one pence. One pound and 61. Okay, if she dropped the 10 pence coin, 
let's add the pound and our 50 pence and our two pence remember size order just making it a little bit easier and the one pence the one pound and 53 pence this time what about if she dropped her 50 pence coin how much would she have this time okay so we've got one pound add the 10 pence add the two pence and add the one pence one pound and 13 pence okay so this time she's dropped her one pence coin how much has she got left so we've got one pound add 50 pence add 10 pence add two pence gives us one pound and 62 pence okay so what you're going to do today is you've got a lot of questions like that in your quiz Okay, so there's lots of them where it's pictures getting you to check um, the amount, adding it together. It's also really important that you're using your pound and your pence symbol. So on your keyboard, the pence one is really easy because it's just your um, P. Okay, and then to get your pound symbol, you're going to need, if you look at your numbers, it's on number three. So you have to press the little side ar arrow on the side. Um, one of your buttons on the side, which is point, an arrow pointing up, press that and press a three at the same time. So if I click on my board a second, so if I just press three, it comes up like that. But if I press the upward arrow and then my three, it's keeping them pressed, it becomes a pound symbol. Okay, so have a go at using that as well. Right, so your task is set. Enjoy looking at all the money, okay? And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.